Hey man, listen, don't man. Don't hold back no shit. Listen, man, listen, Please, man. Don't, don't hold back. Listen, nothing. man, you niggas. Don't hold back. Nothing, this is about bro. to get real. Yeah, my hair getting long. I'm about to get dreads out this bitch. Yeah, I'm fat as hell in Yo, listen, talk to talk. What Original is? 2 is back. You know what, what it is. is. Slug and nooch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what it is. Got a lot to say about this. And I swear to God, you niggas, you niggas are a bunch of fucking frauds, bro. I just want to put it out there. And it's making me so fucking mad. Mm-hmm. It's making me so mad, yo. Because these niggas are frauds. Y'all frauds, bro. All y'all frauds. Y'all out here really, really out here acting as if this young boy did some real wrong shit. Get the fuck out of here, right, dog. I seen I seen Daylight put put up a tweet and I agree. He said, "You how you gonna get mad at this nigga?" He said, "The real ones you supposed to be getting mad at is the niggas that he uh, that put him down because they knew he wasn't really a real gang member and for him to put him down. See, after they put him down, that means that all the street rules is is cut off because they should have knew better than to put a nigga like that on to their shit." And I agree. So for real, for real, them niggas deserve to get ratted on. To be I, honest with you, I, I agree with that. I, I and another thing, I don't condone that shit, cause I feel like he wrong. He he definitely credited from being the blood and all that and that oh, that whole fucking image. He he benefited from that. Let's not say he didn't. He definitely benefited that. He put hits out on niggas, all that shit. <laughs> so he benefited from that. Yeah. I don't condone what he did, but at the same time, nigga, y'all should know if you if you ain't gonna put a real nigga and he ain't following the code and all that, why would you why would you play with that nigga like that? Why would you fuck his girl and all that shit? You know damn well that nigga was gonna go snitch. Now, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, like stop that shit. I'm not gonna sit here and tell and say that snitching is cool because yeah, I don't think is. snitching is cool at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, and that's not what I'm defending. What I'm defending is loyalty is loyalty. So if I, if you, if you loyal to me, or if I'm loyal to you, you're supposed to be loyal to me. Right. There's no fucking way you niggas gonna tell me that if these niggas threatened to kill your mom, had you on, they had you on tape saying they were gonna kill you, they kidnapped you, right. robbed you, fucking fucked your baby mom. Right. They don't fuck, they, <laughs> all they gonna do is fucking. All they gonna do is talk to a nigga right. baby mom, and niggas will snitch on them. Hey, That's all they gotta do. Hey, yo. Hey, stop all you super ass tough gangster niggas. I would just kill everybody. Yeah, get the fuck, get the fuck out, out of here. here. You yo. niggas won't do hey, a motherfucking thing. Y'all niggas can't y'all right. do shit. Y'all hardly can fight. Yeah. So know, let's man? stop. Let's stop fuck that part right there. You know what, man? I'm taking this fucking food. <laughs> fuck this shit, bro. Another thing. I'm about to really get in on these niggas. Another bro. thing. Like, get the fuck out of here. You dog. have to. We have to look at it like this. For the niggas that's 30 and older. older yeah. This conversation really ain't for us because these new niggas live by a whole different code. Exactly. They don't give a fuck about that no snitching shit. Like how we used to say, they don't give a fuck about that. All these young bulls like that. When I was locked up in the county, I used to hear how these young bulls talk like, nigga, I ain't going to jail for these niggas. I was like, <laughs> oh! Yo, this, this shit's different. That's what I'm saying. So niggas like, yo, niggas like, niggas like Snoop and Meek Mills, sit the fuck down. Because ain't no way in the world you, Meek Mills, you, my nigga, no, you, I, I about swear to, to God, I, your fucking boss is a former cop. <laughs> a former cop. Are you kidding me? That's a fact. That's a fact. Your fucking boss is the fakest nigga ever in hip hop. And you got a nerve to be talking about this dude? This that's, 24-year-old? That's a fact. Get the fuck out Let's of here, Let's keep it bro. real. The, the Rick Ross was a CEO. It's crazy, bro. bro. Rick it's Ross crazy. was a CEO. Niggas ain't say shit about that shit. He's a fucking cop. That's true. Are Too you shit. kidding me? Are you are you going on a campaign against him? Fuck no. Prison You're reform. not. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> you just using his shit as a scapegoat so you can try to grab some streams and views. And you that's might smart, even feel, No, it is smart. You might even feel like that. Right. You might even feel like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, don't try to use this young boy for clout. Get the fuck out of here. Why not? I mean, all you niggas Why gotta not? do. Listen, you want Takashi 6 9 to go away, it's not gonna happen. That's number one. Nah, no, it's not. You know what I'm saying? But if you really want him to go away, just don't pay no attention to him. People love the villain shit. So, he is, he is, come so on, bro. I seen uh niggas like Jay Hood and all that. They posted this shit, say, "Oh, look what this rat say." But you're posting the clip of him talking on your page, and you're on his live. 
So you're bringing you're, traffic. You to, niggas are crazy. So to if me. you really hate the nigga, why would you put him on your page to? You know what I'm to saying? To get people up because they like because the niggas don't make no because sense. niggas are looking for clout. Shit don't That's make it. No niggas, sense. all you all you fake ass hood niggas who grew up in the fucking suburbs and some right. of you fake niggas that grew up in the hood that's not even real that never hung with real gangster niggas exactly. y'all niggas need to sit the fuck down exactly sit the fuck down this nigga Snoop Dogg got a lot of allegations of snitching too I don't understand why this nigga sitting here talking like he talking you got some allegations of snitching too nigga nah he got allegations of getting smacked in the fucking studio by sugar these niggas Man, I listen, mean, everybody got shit listen, in this bro. shit. So I'm not. No, no, look, 99 I love Snoop, so all I, you rappers, really, listen, really all that, you niggas no. gotta understand. 99% of these rappers are fake. It's the niggas that they hang with. That's it's the niggas that they hang with be the ones fun. that be shooting niggas right. or that be doing shit for niggas. That's Them rap niggas, they keep they, they followed by the hip hop police. Do you do you niggas even know what hip hop police is? Most of y'all don't. Y'all don't even know that they're being followed. They can't really right. do shit. All they do is talk shit. That's all they do. And y'all so all into love with these niggas. Right. That nigga Meek Mill Boss is a fucking fake cop, bro. He's a former cop and a fucking fake ass um, um fucking uh what I want to say. Fucking drug dealer, fucking what, what drug dealer was popular? Fucking uh, Escobar, Escobar, fucking uh, Pablo. yo Pablo, uh, uh, uh Casa Sosa, I don't know, some motherfucker. He's somebody, but y'all niggas, y'all niggas embrace that nigga. You see, you see, Rick Ross, Rick can Ross rap, on this shit. Rick Ross is fire. Don't get me wrong. That nigga can rap. It's a lot of fake niggas that can rap, bro. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not. I'm not I'm just saying. Rick no, Ross Rick Ross rap. is fire. It has nothing to do with his music. Nah. But if true. you're gonna point out shit on somebody, why you gonna point out on your man? Fifty. Your man just locking niggas up. Fifty Cent. Probably beating like niggas. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit too. You know what I mean? Probably so. beating niggas with nightsticks and shit. Damn, that's crazy. Like for real, <laughs> nigga Rick Ross probably hit niggas upside their head with a knife stick. The real you think he was? No. Officer Ricky? <laughs> Officer Ricky? Ricky? Officer Ricky, bro. Damn. Like, come on, being be, getting hit upside the head Wait, with a knife stick. But all right, the, the thing about the thing about the Takashi shit is that I want to point out because, like you said, it was a um, monumental um, thing in hip hop when he came on there and broke the record. But see, niggas gotta understand something. It's not like how it is back in the day. These young bulls live by a different code, man. They not, they not no street niggas. And you know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas, when it come down to it, they gonna, they gonna snitch. They gonna tell. They don't give a fuck. You gotta look what was on the line. Like, and yo, let's be real, yo. And I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas say about me, cause I really don't give a fuck. But I'm just keeping it real. Let's, let's keep it real. If y'all was in that nigga position. And these motherfuckers offered you mad money. This nigga was niggas mad money and all that shit was on the line. But he looking at 20 years. Y'all niggas would have did the same thing. No, niggas would have did the same thing. I'm going to tell you like this. Most of y'all niggas. Right, would y'all do the no, same thing? No shit. Yes. Most of y'all niggas. So let's, let's most of y'all niggas on, hang with niggas that will fucking tell, tell your girl if you cheat. For $1,000. Not even for $1,000. Just because they want to fuck your girl. They'll tell, they will tell on you. That is most of your niggas will go fact. tell your bitch that they want to. That they, that they are so in love with because you're treating her wrong. They'll, they'll snitch on you with that. Depending Most on how niggas, fat her ass is, yo, probably niggas will be like, niggas, <laughs> definitely, niggas will probably like, definitely. I mean, I'm niggas, niggas, niggas I mean, be like, like, you know that nigga Cole be doing some <laughs> dumb shit, right? I mean, do you hear from me, though? Do you hear from what's me? What's up? Screenshot yeah, shit. Like, what's up, though? Do you hear from me, nigga? Bitch, don't want to fuck with him. He like, see, I should never told that bitch. Yo, where does Bono know? On some real shit. It's, it's real. It's, the, 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 it's, the landscape is different. Hey, yo, listen. I'm not, listen, again, I don't condone, if you, if me and you did a crime together, right, and, and we did a crime together, yes, we got caught together, yes, I'm not going to tell on you, because number one, we did that together, right, but if you doing some shit, if I'm riding for you, a hundred percent, I'm riding for Coley, a hundred percent, right, and you doing some dirty shit behind my back, oh nigga, I ain't doing no time for you, fuck you, are you kidding me, right, you nigga, any one of you niggas agree to that, I swear to God, just delete me as a friend in life. Delete me as a friend in life. Because there's no way in the world you're going to tell me that you will ride for a nigga who was trying to get you killed and your family killed. You will still ride for him because you don't want to snitch on him? See, the thing about these niggas Man, is listen, what bro, they're going to say. So hold up, hold up. What, what they're going to say, God, what they're going to oh say is it's a street principle. I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. Hold up. 
They, that's just what they're going to say. They're going to say it's a street principle. There's rules to the streets once you get into the game. Yeah. Let's, let me be clear on this. And I, I want to say this, right? That gang shit is motherfucking stupid. Anybody in a fucking gang, y'all niggas is in some following shit, y'all some following dickheads. I say this because y'all niggas will bomb on your, the niggas that, niggas that look like you. But y'all never put in real work when it really means it. When a nigga gets shot, y'all niggas cop. cop. I don't see none, I don't see none of y'all niggas, niggas go to the well, shit and ride on the niggas. None of y'all. So get the fuck out of here with that gay shit. That, that, that shit is bro. stupid. and never bring black niggas any progress. Y'all really, crip really means community revolution and progress. Y'all niggas is not following what y'all, uh, uh, because they don't know what it's they stand for. Y'all niggas is followers and y'all, y'all niggas. It's who I blame for a lot of this stupid shit that's going on. And that's what y'all get. That's what them niggas got for fucking throwing anybody in their gang shit and thinking that he gonna stay by the cold when they doing all this goofy shit to him. You can't be so extorting the niggas here, man. and expect them to still have your back. You fuck can't be trying here, to kill bro. niggas and expect them to still have your back. You broke the that street code. Crazy, if you if you live by the street code, you broke the street right. code when you did that. Right. That automatically makes it fair game. Bro. That's what niggas gotta understand. If the street code means that y'all together and it's right. loyalty over everything, and you break that, then I don't have no reason to be loyal to you. None. Period. None. So all you niggas out there saying, oh yeah, it's loyalty over everything, and you it's niggas not, not even loyal lie. to your That's own family. Right. Get the fuck out of here. You not Loyal to y'all girls, y'all not yeah. loyal to y'all. Loyal to yourself. Y'all never be like y'all gonna stop smoking cigarettes, and the next day you smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> you niggas are fucking crazy, bro. Yo, so stop you that shit. You niggas are crazy. Man. It's a new, Show, it's a new day. It's a new day, Snoop. It's a new day, Meek. It's over for you niggas, bro. It's over. Nah, Just, me, it's I'm over. Saying, you saying, niggas come make me, music. If Meek, but, if, if Meek go at this boy, it it it'll it'll it be a win win for both of them. The reason why I say that is Meek is gonna get all the people that's supposedly on this real nigga time on his side, and the new niggas is gonna ride with Takashi. Until somebody, until it's somebody cool. like me come along and say, "Hey, ain't your ain't your boss a former cop?" <laughs> that's what Takashi gonna say. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Nigga, you yeah, yeah. ain't your boss? Wait, your boss is a former cop." <laughs> Hell yeah. That's all Takashi has crazy. to say. Is your boss your boss is the fakest nigga ever? And me, man, I mean, Rick Ross is coming at that nigga. Uh, this is Takashi my thing, too. bro. Everybody knows that Takashi Six Nine is a fucking controversial man. Right. Everybody knows this. So even if you really feel that way, right. Snoop probably really feels that way. I mean, in fact, I'm gonna say Snoop feels that way more than than uh, was. Mm -hmm. I'll put that out there. Snoop really feels that way. Right. Because I can put it to you like this. Snoop Dogg comes from a, from the gang life. Right. He was raised in gang life. Yeah. I'm not going to say I don't really know about Meat Mills. Meat right. Mills came from the streets. Who knows? But he's not from a gang life. Nah, he's from Philly shit. But, he, but he's not from the gang, gang life. life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cali niggas are different from right. East Coast. Cali, niggas. You niggas got to understand Cali, that too. Cali gang, gang shit. You niggas got to understand that too. I wish y'all understand that. Cali, Cali Chicago, gang shit. All that Chicago shit. gang shit. It's, it's not like here. It is. We're a little more nicer. They say, oh, East Coast is a bunch of niggas over there. They don't really care. No, we a little nicer. Them niggas over there will really kill you. That's it. Nah, they just live by that gang they, culture code. Because niggas because, in the because, East Coast, I'll tell you what happened. A lot of niggas in the East Coast. And niggas can say what they want, but when that shit came out, like maybe like like early two thousands, when niggas in prison was doing the blood shit, and yeah, now yeah. when they go to prison, they they get down with a gang, cause a lot of y'all niggas can't fight. Let's be real. Yeah, they can't. A lot of now niggas getting gangs, cause y'all can't fight. Fuck wrong with you niggas? Or y'all just want y'all just want y'all yeah, support. Yeah, support. And a lot of niggas get got into the game because. Like, say if I'm in Trenton, and I know that I'm going to sell drugs in this particular part. Yeah. But everybody in Trenton, in this part of Trenton's blood. I I really ain't got no choice unless I want to make money, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn blood. Mm -hmm. So a lot of y'all niggas got down with shit like that, right? In the East Coast or whatever. Y'all got put down by somebody and shit like that. That shit ain't no brotherhood, though. Y'all really don't got it, like... How to fucking gain culture. Because you can't even go in certain parts of fucking uh, like the jungle. Yeah, you know I mean, if you ain't like certified blood, nigga, you can't even go out there. 
That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You, you, so you, you got to be a what I'm saying, what I'm saying so is, what I'm saying is a lot of you niggas, a lot of you niggas, y'all, y'all in the gang for all the wrong reasons. A lot, lot of y'all in the gang because it's a trending topic. That's the reason why y'all right. killing. You know what I'm saying? We came out with a gang called the Green, the Green Green Shirt Gang. Probably <laughs> if we was, if we got a cosign from Drake, everybody would be the Green Shirt Gang. Yeah, a lot of niggas. Like for real. Up. That's what it is. That's how easy it is right. for certain niggas. Because a lot of you niggas ain't killers. Y'all just a part of something because y'all don't want to feel left out. And it's corny right. to me. Like, like, chill with the bullshit, bro. Like, like, okay, let the boy have this little shine. He came back. He did his thing. If y'all don't really want to 6 9 to shine, then don't say nothing. Yo, the thing about That's the bull it. is, is it was crazy because... He, the bull is a marketing... Whoever's doing his marketing... He's doing bull. it. The nigga's a genius, cuz. He took the he took the 50 cent troll. This thing nigga came and out took that bro, shit to another. This another nigga level, came bro. out with a set of handcuffs playing bad boys, bad boys. What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? What you gonna do when they come? Spinning the joint. Spinning handcuffs. That's funny as shit. And then he I don't condone oh nothing this nigga's God, doing. Bro. But <laughs> you gotta admit, this Yo, shit funny as fuck. Listen, bro, right? listen, listen. This shit is crazy. I'm gonna explain something to y'all niggas, man, and I wish y'all niggas understand this. When it comes to hip hop, this is a multi billion dollar business. A fact. They do not care about you niggas' lives. They don't they care don't. about niggas getting killed. Nope. All these young boys got killed. Uh, last year. Right. Was, how many young boys got killed? Smoke, uh, a bunch of young boys got Nip. killed. They got killed. Nipsey and all these All of them, everybody get killed. And only in hip hop. Only in hip hop will you see Juice niggas Mo. getting killed. Triple X. All you know what I'm saying? Niggas. And it's because you niggas fuel the fire. Right. Y'all fuel the fire. Y'all agree with shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that hip hop should change their the way they approach things or how hard their lyrics be. But when you surround yourself with negativity, this is what happens. So if something happens to Takashi, it something might possibly happen to Takashi because he has a negative aura. But I'm going to say this, if all you niggas out there that's over that's over 35 years old wishing that he died, that's you cool. niggas need to go to fucking hell, bro. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> go to hell. Ain't no way nah, in the world I you mean, old ass niggas out here crazy, really, man. really wishing that this boy died. Nah. I don't, Are you kidding me? I don't wish no, 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 no. Are you kidding me? But these young bulls got to understand something. Man. When you, when you mix, see, this, this is the, this, problem, this is the thing, though. This is the fine line that these young boys sometimes don't get, right? See, the thing about the music industry, especially hip hop, is that it's so intertwined with the streets and the street culture that sometimes the lines get blurred. So you might just think that you entertaining when you go on these yeah. these fucking you feed lives it, feed it, and you feed and you talking all this crazy yeah. shit yeah. and you know. You but feeding, niggas, you feeding the niggas right. in the streets that really do, and, and you you flashing money and you doing all this. It's niggas that's really about that shit. Nigga, yo, that's looking at you is, and looking like, I want yo, if I kiss to this nigga lacking, bro, I want I'm gonna to, fucking pop. I want y'all niggas to understand this, right? So y'all got there is there is a psychological term for gang shit now. They just started it like I think three or four years ago, right? Or maybe longer than that. But some people have this gang mentality and they they put that in a psych in a psych hospital psych term. I was in a psych hospital, not me, but I worked in a psych hospital. Right. And there was a dude in there who everything was about gang life. And they made it into a, a thing. Okay. So what I'm saying is when you the energy you put out, so let's say for instance, uh I'm gonna use a rapper, uh I don't know, game. Let's say game. Game talks about killing niggas, killing niggas, killing niggas, killing niggas, killing niggas, killing niggas. Killing niggas right? right? You were supposed to be intelligent enough to know that that is just him talking about what's going on. He's a street narrator. He tells you what's going on in the streets. You don't supposed to take what he say literally and go kill somebody. But a lot of you dudes, a lot of these young dudes, I mean young dudes, a lot of these old heads, we grew up with that mentality. I had to, I had to really recondition my brain because I said, damn, I was, I loved Onyx, but everything they said was crazy. It's toxic music. Now, it's not like, don't get me wrong, I love hip hop. And I love rap music. I love hard rap music. But you gotta be able to determine what's real and what's, what's not. not. And if you can't determine the, the, the two, then stop listening to and it. And who's real and who's not. And who's real and who's not. Because right. you, because a hard, the hardest nigga could come off as the, 
the hardest rapper to come off as the hardest nigga ever. Right. And you will really truly believe that this nigga is the hardest nigga you ever heard in your life. Right. And you will live and die by this nigga. Hey yo, and another thing that I want to say, because I know some niggas that's in the, I mean, the battle rap community, we, we got a lot of people that's, you know, that be looking at our shit from the battle rap community. Um, but I see a lot of y'all niggas, y'all cat for this to do Takashi, right? And y'all be like, oh, look what he's doing, got to ask, because yeah. I seen it. I seen some of y'all say this shit, right? But the same niggas will down this nigga Adi Boom, like, oh, he can't come to back to battle rap. He can't do this. He can't do that. Yo, y'all got to understand something, bro. Niggas' personal life and what they do on entertainment shouldn't be mixed in. You know what I'm saying? I don't know Adi Boom personally. You know what I mean? I met him, and I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing to do. I like his rapping. I think he should still battle. I don't give a fuck about if who he talks about or whatever. That shit don't ma matter. That's the thing. You know niggas need to mind their fucking business, bro. That shit That's don't the matter. thing. That's the thing. All you niggas need to mind your business. Mind your fucking business. That ain't got you don't shit even know the dude that whatever happened between Adi Boom and that dude, right. he was a young boy when it happened. Whatever happened between that, that shit, right. y'all niggas need to get it out your fucking head. There's no way in the world you're gonna tell me. Nigga, you gonna tell me he gotta in order for me to come back to battle rap? I gotta show some paperwork? Nigga, fuck you in your league. I would never battle there. I'll create my own fucking league. Because that's all you have to yo, really yo, do. Yo, on like, some real shit, on some real shit, shit he gotta out. stop doing them interviews too. Stop that shit. Because you don't gotta explain shit to these hey, guys. Hey, yo, yo, listen. Adi, Adi's my man, 100 grand. You know, he, you know. That's the shit. You know what I'm saying? The that's the interviews making them look bad. Adi, listen, bro. Stop explaining shit to niggas. Yeah, don't you don't have to explain don't a motherfucking thing to none of these Them niggas. Them niggas ain't getting business. They niggas ain't giving you no money. They ain't paying none of your bills. bills. They ain't doing shit for you. Niggas ain't sending you no bread in the jail. Listen, bro. None of that shit. If it ain't smack, ARP, uh, or organic, or whoever not telling you shit, don't pay attention right. to none of these niggas. Because all they're gonna do is they're gonna wait until you in a great position, and then they're gonna, oh, what's right. up? You the bro. Oh, you right. always been the bro. But yeah. I never said that. Get, right. get the fuck hey, out of here, dog. Listen. You niggas are goofy as Y'all niggas right? better chill, because a lot of y'all niggas be saying shit, but if niggas pulled y'all foul and pull some shit out, what would we find? Man, listen, niggas? man. I know so much on a lot of you niggas. I know a lot of shit on a lot of you niggas, but like, see, I'm not corny. I'm not like corny. dead ass though. When like, I battle, what would they pull out listen, on you? My nigga, when I battle, I don't God, never do personals shit. on niggas. Because it's not it's no point. It's no point. I'm not trying listen, bro. Everybody in battle K, rap, I would say, and I'm gonna say the same thing I said. I would have punched Big K though. Right? Real maybe, talk. maybe, maybe. Maybe. I would But everybody well, in his in his case he, he couldn't. <laughs> but <laughs> no, nah, he couldn't. It's something would happen. I'll tell All right, you. But anyway. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna say the same thing I say about industry niggas. 99% of the battle rappers are fake, bro. bro most of these mean, niggas don't even have most jobs. Rappers most of these are... niggas don't even have jobs. They be begging for <laughs> fucking deposits, bro. They beg for deposits. And That's then they have, and then, does, listen, and then half these niggas come to fucking events and they don't bring he nobody rides. with them. They need a ride there. <laughs> these niggas are broke, bro. Sure. They're broke. Like I five like, niggas, I, yo, five I niggas on a blunt. Yo, I sit back and I laugh. <laughs> How these niggas try to be so fucking Hasa Diddy and yeah, Hollywood, man. and you niggas can't even fucking get twenty dollars to get gas. Get right. the fuck out of here! Oh, you known for your words. If I give you, so I need ten thousand dollars to do one hey. round. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here! Niggas throwing tantrums. Yeah. You gonna buy the bus yeah. ticket? Oh, yeah. you get the fuck! Uh, ain't no way in the world. You okay? Yo, you hey, gonna yo, give me a bus ticket? Shit. And then, and then I'll come. Shit, like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Stop that shit. You niggas funny as shit. But, that's what I said, yeah, bro. Man. Like, this, this, listen, and, yo, y'all gotta know how to separate entertainment from real life. Like, that's exactly you know what, what it is. This is all entertainment. It is. What it's it is. all entertainment, bro. It it's is. all entertainment. Nobody's really shooting nobody unless it's some other niggas right. that ain't even in the rap. Right. Name me a rapper. It probably be one or two in the history of rap. Name me a rapper that actually shot somebody on stage. Nah, nah, never that. Name me a rapper. Uh, and to be honest with you, a lot of R&B niggas is what. more gangster than I rap know one, but I ain't gonna say that. I, they was yeah, well, he, yeah, he was a battle wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anywho. Uh, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, at the end of the day, man, here, bro. all y'all extra Listen, tough niggas, man. Listen, I don't even know that either, bro. Because I'm going to tell you right now. Niggas like, oh, what? Hey, dude, yo, you, you better not tell. Nigga, you shoot me, I'm telling, nigga. Ain't no way in the world. I'm going to look you Damn, in your motherfucking like face. I'm going to look all you niggas in your face. No, I If a nigga you. shoot me, 
I ain't telling. I'm telling who did it. Nah. I, I don't care. I'm telling. Because I'm shooting you. So what the fuck? If you, nigga shot That's me. So what? And nigga, I land. So what? If I can't, I'm going to shoot you. If I can't get to you. If I can't get to you. If I can't get to you. If I can't. Listen, bro. If I can't get to you. And they got. And, and, and they caught you. And they say, is this the guy that shot you? Who you going to be like? Yes. I'm going to say, listen. <laughs> I'm going to stand up tall. <laughs> I'm going to stand up tall like. Uh, <laughs> Yes, officer. Yeah, yes, officer. Yes. It was him. It was him. It was him. Yes. You fucking kidding me? Like a gentleman. You shoot me, nigga. I'm telling on you. I'm gonna fuck with none of you niggas. Say. <laughs> Only way I'm not telling on you if I can catch you myself. But if they catch hey, yo, you man. and they ask me, I'm standing up tall hey, and I'm yo, telling man. on you, nigga. Hey, fuck that shit. Hey bro. yo, me. You niggas are crazy. That nigga do got a point, dude. That nigga Rick Ross was the CEO. Yeah, you CEO. Let's, let's keep on. It's over for you, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's over for you. That, I mean, it's over for you, bro. You can't get mad. You know what I'm saying? It's over, bro. Don't get mad at that young boy. He was like, yeah, I'm a rat. That yeah, is yeah. crazy. That, bro. Yo, that that motherfucker. That is, is crazy. listen, I'm gonna say one thing before we get off this live, bro. That nigga's crazy. That was <laughs> I want I want y'all niggas to understand how, and I don't think people understand this, because people just mad. But y'all don't understand. This is a monumental moment of fucking in hip-hop history, bro. Yeah. This is a monumental moment in hip-hop history. And the reason why I say that is because you got somebody that actually came out and he said, said I worked honest. with the federal, uh, the DEA or whoever you work with. Right. I worked with the federal government and I, I worked snitched. with fucking, said, I, I snitched. snitched. So yeah, what? I snitched. I'm a rat. Yes. No one in the, in the history of hip hop has ever went on camera and said that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, again, I don't condone it. But you gotta respect a man that will come out and you probably, the niggas probably saying, I ain't gotta respect that. Well, you do. You gotta respect somebody that is that is real enough to say, you know what? That nigga rolling in his grave like. Fuck that. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. Big Meech rolling in his yeah, grave Big like. <laughs> John Gotti, all this. Yeah, yeah, like, oh yeah, we, we protected you. We were the gods of this. We protected you. He said, what this game done goes yeah, yeah. Man, Listen, man. Young boys, man. These young boys telling each other. You know what I mean? Shit, you supposed to man. let a nigga fuck your girl. You supposed to, that's a part of the game. A nigga, a nigga extort you. A nigga, a nigga it's a fuck your game. bitch. You that's a part of the game, around, man. Nigga, you supposed to find a way around that. You supposed to tell on a nigga. Yeah, that's the way around it. I'm telling on you, nigga. That's Damn. the way around it. Over some pussy? Listen, karma is You gonna snitch on me bro. over some pussy? Yeah, nigga, you fuck my baby mom, nigga. You ain't just fuck some girl. Damn. That's my. That ain't got nothing to do with her. She, she'll yeah, no, yeah. You shouldn't. Have, you shouldn't have put a kid in her. Ain't right, you right. And you try to kill my Charge to. Well, that's yeah, that's different. But try to kill. You robbed mom. me. You yeah. supposed to be my boy, and you you extorting all this money out of that me. Nigga when was, I put you on, that nigga was like. Uh yeah, I tell him whatever you want. Yeah, that I nigga just... fuck my baby mom. <laughs> listen, <laughs> officer. Listen, listen. This officer. hair ain't red for nothing, officer. <laughs> Guess what? I'm not a blood no more. The shit blue now, nigga. That nigga, you know all I mean? types of colors. That hey nigga, man, listen, King now. listen, man. Hey, yo. You niggas, man. Y'all be safe out there. Stay away from the, to, to C19 shit. Be safe. Wear your mask, nigga. And I'm gonna tell y'all niggas right now. Goofy ass. Tell on niggas, bro. Unless y'all do something together. If a nigga stab you in your back, you better tell on that nigga, bro. That's his karma. No, I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's his karma. <laughs> if a nigga do you dirty behind your back and you find out, hey, yo. tell on that nigga. That's his karma, bro. Hey, That's yo, his karma. Uh, this, 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 karma comes around. I'm a real nigga, bro. No, this, this, I can fight you. You know what I'm saying? All niggas are, understand these that. So are. niggas, listen, I can fight. So if niggas see me at any event and tell you, oh nigga, we need to, yo, we need to talk about nigga, I can fight and I'm strong as shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? These, these real as shit. Hey, uh, Fuck that. Are I can the, fight and I'm are strong. Are all torture I'm strong. I usually choke niggas out and then beat them up after they knocked out, bro. Damn, that's how you fight. That's what it is. Nah, I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight him. I'm a nice nigga, bro. I got nine to five. You know what I mean? Like for real. <laughs> hey man, you niggas stay safe, man. Easy.